Hello everybody, JB here, quick video and, and I don't like to shout it from the rooftops We are top of the league, say we are top of the league, yes, Burnley are top of the league of the championship with uh, a point Well, it's a couple of results that put us there First of all, we did our end of the bargain by winning 4-0 uh, against Swansea who, um, with a lot of respect, uh, I thought would cause us a lot more trouble than what they actually did In fact, they caused us no trouble at all uh, Aaron Mullins actually had a quiet game by his own standards and we just murdered him off the park, you know, so, you know, quite happy. And then what did us the biggest favours? Well, Daniel Backman did us the biggest favour of all on Saturday, kept out Murray single-handedly second half. And uh, we now gone top by a point. It's just, we are top by one goal. Just one goal to put us top of the league. It's just unbelievably brilliant. So I'm, I'm quite happy, really. Um, still one defeat in 14. It's... It's a contrast from last season where we couldn't buy a bloody win, so it's like, you know, so to be top at this stage is a is a credit to Vincent Company, uh, but the, the hard work begins. Uh, you know, we've got two tricky, difficult away trips to Birmingham uh, in a couple of days' time, and then we've got to go to Sunderland. Sorry about the sunshine. And then we've got to go to Sunderland on the Saturday, and and if we can get, I, know I, I think we can get six points. I mean, Birmingham will be difficult, and Sunderland will be difficult, you know, with the support there, but... You know, well, Birmingham are on a good run. They won again. Sunderland came from behind to beat Wigan last week, so uh, you don't know what's going to happen, really. But, uh, you know, we've got a got a brum now full of confidence. And if we play like we did against Swansea, I think we could have no problems at all. But it's going to be a tricky trip down to Brom on Wednesday, and we need the points badly, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, we do need the points. Um, that said, though, I thought the game against Swansea, I thought we we didn't make hard work of it like we've done in many of the other games uh, this season. But, uh, you know, Jay Rodriguez, Vitinho, uh, and uh, getting that other guy's name. But, uh, you know, I thought Jay Rodriguez was the player of the match. I thought he looked sharp. I've seen the game back. Um, but I think the whole team played really well. and. You know, we've got to give credit now, and I think VK now is starting to sort of get the players how he wants to play. I'm especially pleased for J-Rod because he's been, to be fair, for a long, he hadn't been in the form of his life for such a long time, totally this season, and, you know, he's had a lot of problems with injuries and stuff, and he didn't get much of a chance under Sean Dyche, so VK's taking him to one side. He's a Burnley man, born and bred, and... And to be fair, he's just took the ball by the horns, J-Rod, and he's just absolutely um, taking, taking it apart. You know, he's, he's just absolutely he's smashed it. Um, he's up there amongst the top scorers in the championship, which isn't bad. I mean, I, mean, I still think we need a striker in January. I still think we're short in that area. And possibly a, a good, tough centre-back, but... That aside, I think we we look a good team this this time round. You know, you look at, you know, if you'd have said to me at this stage of the season you'd be top with 25 points, considering that we've had to have so much of evil, selling our best players like Maxwell and uh, and uh, people like that, um, yeah, Dwight McNeil and people like that, um, and Nick Pulp. It's just you know, I would have probably laughed your socks off, but credit to VK, he knows what he's doing and. You know, it's a tight old division, and you know, I mean, the top six places are separated by two points anyway. So, I mean, if we got beat off Brom and all the results went against us, we could drop to six on Wednesday. You know, that's that's how the championship works. But God forbid we win the game and stay top. And that's what we hope anyway will be the case. Um, but there's some good teams up there amongst them. Um, your Norwiches, your Sheffield United, you know, teams of that quality. Um, you know, I'm, 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 you know uh, the other lot down the M65, which uh, I love to mention their name at the moment. Um, so there's some good teams out there. I mean, Birmingham are doing really okay under the Johnny. I mean, they're mid-table, but again, they're only a couple of points off the playoffs. So it's not beyond the rounds of possibility of them, if they have a good run in the second half of the season, Brom, to get in the most playoff mixes. So, you know... I think Birmingham have a decent side, and we, you know, and I think we've got to, you know, we've got to look at this. 
uh, very objectively. Uh, the one bad spot about Saturday's match was the, the stamp by Piro, uh, the Swansea Star Striker and uh, Josh Cohen. I've seen it. It's a definite red card, if not GBH. He should be serving time for that, because if he'd done that in the street, he'd be serving flipping time. It's just, it's just preposterous, really. He knew exactly what he was doing. The referee's not two yards away from the whole situation. And he's just proceeded to go and stamp on the geezer's head. It's just... I just find that baffling, really. Why play? I can understand players' frustrations when their team's 1-0 down and nothing's going their way. But for someone to endanger, a, endanger a, another professional footballer, it's just outrageously stupid. I mean, if it would have been one of our lads, I would have condemned him, to be fair. But, um, but Piro, you know, I think you should get more than a three-game ban. I think you should get a six to eight match ban because that is just out of order, um, personally. And uh, and I think it's not right. And I think that's also bringing the game into disrepute as well. It's violent conduct, you know, because the FA, they'll be, he'll be charged by the FA for that. Mark my bloody words. The, F, the Football Association will charge him. I might double his ban to six games, maybe treble it to 12 games, who knows? Treble it to nine games. Because that is just stamp on another opponent's per top part. It's just unforgivable. I don't care if, Swan, if he's Swansea's best player along with Alba Femi. The fact is, he didn't, he, the fact is, he did it, and that's, that's ridiculousness. So I hope he gets, whatever punishment he gets, I hope the FA just shut the book at him, quite frankly. Because that should never, ever happen in professional football. It's ridiculous. Anyway, looking ahead now, next two games. Birmingham and Sunderland. Birmingham, really, really tough match, you know. We've had a dog gear record at St Andrews. We've won, I think we won, I think we won the last time we were there in 2016. Um, tough game, but Andre Graham won it for us, I think, in the last 10 minutes, I think. With a nice little control volley. And I think we need... I think we'll need to show a bit more of the same character tomorrow at Brom. It's a difficult place to go. Half the stadium's closed for redevelopment or for structural development, so the atmosphere isn't going to be there. I'm sure we'll take a few thousand down to Brom with us to, um, on Wednesday, I think, is it? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Uh, so um, we have to look at that objectively. Um, and Sunderland on Saturday, that's another tough game because Sunderland are a decent side, even now more. I mean, they lost Alex Neal in the early part of the season, replacing with Marbury, the ex you know who. <laughs> and uh, to be fair, he's done a decent job. They've no strikers of any real. They've lost all the strikers. They've lost Charlie White and. Well, they lost him to uh, elsewhere, but uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. But uh, anyway, that's, it's going to be a tough game. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, leave a like. See you soon. Bye bye.